generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very refreshing chilled lemon and lime drink. So welcome back to the game. And in the previous episode, we finished off these lovely terraced houses, which are graded quite highly. We added in the electrical and the plumbing and got in this extra parole thing down the bottom. Then also managed to install some more wind solar hybrid to export some energy to increase our daily cash flow. And then between episodes, a couple of things. Firstly, perimeter wall. It now goes all the way around the facility. I think it was about 10 in-game days and about 160,000 generic units of currency. It was <laughs> quite a monumental task for the workers. And also, um, yeah, a, a couple of tunnels. One in the middle and then one I think just recently found. Was it just here? No, mustn't have been. So there we go. Okay, so in this episode we want to build at minimum the bakery. Let's just see how we get on. There is, however, a slight issue, which I'll show you in but a moment while the game auto-saves. And uh, there we go. So... We have an issue. This is where I want the bakery. So it's going to be a fairly standard size. It's going to be something along the lines of that. And then I want to put the sort of baking area there. That's fine. However, this is going to require foundations. Again, not much of a surprise. But what is a surprise is when the workers were building, they've managed to leave a bit of this uh, uh, component down here, which I cannot shift for not for a lack of trying either i've tried almost everything the only thing that works is buying the land and it means that if we if the workers try to go for that they won't be able to then build the buildings which is fairly disastrous as uh, series go but anyway let's go ahead and put in this thing here um i'm not sure whether i need this bakery bit here in the sort of front shop bit i, I don't know whether it's just over engineering it but I'm going to build it, see how it goes, and then if nothing else, I can always just demolish this down here and have another building. It's, it's fine. Anyway, over to the walls and doors, and then doors. We're going to have a double door in, say, here, and let's just see if the workers uh, crack on and build that. I also want to um, build around here, and, well, it's going to be quite a simple task because I'm just going to clone this to this side, and I'm going to do something here, which... I I haven't fully yet committed to. Um, we do have some danger level. It's on medium and is slowly ticking up. However, if we check out the needs, we can see that it is basically okay. There is a critical family need, and that's because, again, between the episodes... Sorry, I'm just going to call him Pest Control. Um, I had an event that was to remove all visitation, so obviously there's going to be that family need. So just, uh, you know, just, just seeing that, the, the back of that, really. See how we, uh, see how we get on. So money-wise, we are obviously doing very well at 189,000 generic units of currency. For valuation, I'm going to buy some of my own shares because I can, and <laughs> we now want 80%, and oh, we've only got uh, 64,000 generic units of currency. Now, that's... Uh, that's horrible. Anyway, <laughs> so as I said, in this episode, we're building the bakery. I haven't planned it off. I've just got a rough idea that I wanted to go there. There's then going to be something in here. I'm very tempted with just some car parking and having, a, like I say, a nice little park or something. And then finally, we've got a space over here. Obviously, this is where we've got the workshop, which we can clone. And I've just realized, produce 10 superior beds, 10%. Carpentry Apprenticeship, 23 interested, 10 finished, 1 passed. We've passed it. Someone's passed it. This is excellent. That's very good indeed. Um, there's farm work and safety, which we can run. There's behavioral therapy and flower therapy and conflict resolution. I'm just going to fire all those off because, again, money is not really a, an issue at this stage. And, ah, yes, that is what I was afraid of. They are still waiting for this piece to come in I think that's what the deal is and I can't go to sell material I mean I, you can actually sell people there <laughs> right we might have a bit of a problem and there's an escape really they just walked out yep always uh, always a pleasure uh, snipers <laughs> I'm gonna hire another couple of snipers, so we've already got we've always got snipers about. Um, mm. So it does say foundation is in progress. I mean, what can I do about that other than building brick? 
doing that, that'll then bring in more foundations, which it has, and then I'll remove that. Then there should be some spare. Yes. Um, looks like we've got a hot spell. Highs of 40.7 degrees C. Let's say stay indoors and also emergencies, road maintenance. And there we go. There's the there's the bakery, which <laughs> all the guys were walking through that and then they had to turn back around. Okay, so this is the bakery. Let's actually set it as a bakery. So there's our bakery. Minimum size 5x5 five five and indoors. I'm fairly confident we've got that. <laughs> Door mixers, ovens, shop counters, display counters, cake stands, uh, and fridges. So, I guess we'll just open up objects and go to bakery. So we need ovens. I'm going to place a row of ovens on the top because it looks cool. And down the bottom. We'll then have for what do we need fridges we do i don't know the best place to put them door mixers actually there's a row of, there's loads of door mixers and yes i am over specking this i am very well aware <laughs> we have the money i'm not too concerned uh i guess we can just do that and that's that's over engineered but it's in Right, let's also go with a... What colour do I want it? Well, this is in like the... Yeah, that's in the sort of diner style. Let's have it as like a blue. So I'll have this come down to say there. Then up to say there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, good. So the rest of it is display counters. And I think what we'll do is have it so... We have a row of display counters down here maybe like that and like that and we'll have a similar thing maybe there mm. I don't know what else do you need cake stands it's actually okay. Let's have the sort of end piece here, like that. Obviously, we need the gap because they'll come round this way. In fact, what I'll do is that. That looks better, yes. And what else do we need? Um, a shop counter, which I can place. Actually, you know what? I'm going to place that there. Quite like that. And the display counters I'll put back in from the bottom with a gap so they can access access the bottom. Yep, that makes perfect sense. That works. Uh should do that as well. And then I think the cake stands. Should we just have rows of them? Gaps of two. I'm aware it's not hugely inspired this, but it'll have a lot of work. And finally, because it's uh, it's always beneficial to uh, the cooking process, uh, we'll actually have some lighting in. <laughs> so the uh, inmates who are working can actually see what they're doing. And just some rough placement of lighting. And there we go. So I'll just speed that up to max and we'll let the workers crack on with it. Oh, we also need uh, some plumbing and we need some heating as well. Where's the nearest water boiler? It's there. Oh, and I also have an insulated over here. That's something I'm going to be doing in this episode too. I think for this thing, for heating wise, I mean, we can just remove, like, a, a just remove these fridges, in fact, and just put in water, water boiler, goes in the back there, radiator. Don't really need more than that. Okay, so the workers have got a lot to crack on with, and obviously it's already a bit of a problem because of the uh, weather. Although, no, that's just finished, and we're back to pretty much normal. Excellent. So, bakery. Sell 25 baked goods to customers. Let's see how we get on with that. I'm going to probably, while we're waiting, because it takes a little while to do this, I'm going to put in the flooring. There's a, there's a recent death. I don't know where that 
has occurred. Let's just put in this uh, sort of strip of grass that we always have around these. Similar thing down there. And indeed, we'll just go across because I've been neglecting it for a while. And there we go. There's the entrance way. And inside, we're probably going to go with like a blue carpet or something. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure. We'll see how we get on. Good. But yes, we seem to be in a fairly decent place. I know that the danger level is increasing quite rapidly now, but that's again because of the uh, the hygiene need. Everyone's going to be very sweaty from that 40 degree heat. Uh, there is a sleep need there, which is critical for nearly 70 prisoners. And that's also going up. Mm, that'll be uh, sorted tonight. And um, oh, we got a... So there's a death there, but not seeing anyone. But I'm also seeing Tom Balthazar destroying their cell. There's some guards over here coming along. Let's just see if they're indeed rankable. No, there we go. They've been tased <laughs> and they walk off. <laughs> uh, fair enough. So how are we doing over here? It seems that it's getting cleaned, but just waiting for the rest of it to be done. No, no insulation of anything as of yet. Although I am seeing grass turf being uh, brought over. I'm going to guesstimate that, yep, yep, that's a lot of turf. And it seems to have brought the turf before the fridges. It's put the cart before the horse. How curious. As you can see, we're getting uh, money from early prisoner release. We're also getting some civilian commerce. 90 generic units of currency. There's 15. Five there. So we are indeed selling, which is, which is all good. The... Ooh. Ooh. Strong and snitch. Another day, another me missing a snitch. Actually, there's another one. Is it? Well, there's definitely this person. Protective custody. Ah, oh, and we've got another person come in. Steel. Which I will not assign um, to anything just yet because they've still got the handcuffs on. So if you do it, it can be problematic. Should we do it? I think I can change protective. That's fine. Daily cash flow has been altered somewhat. I'm guessing the addition of, well, a lot of uh, well, extra staff. We do have 50 workers now. So that's gone up a noticeable amount. As long as the daily cash flow is positive, though, I'm not really too concerned. Again, we will have some problem with the... Oh, no! I was going to say, we'll, we will have some problem with the clothing need, but that is not the case. It's actually hygiene and family. There is someone being taken out in the gym. And it's gone to food time, but people are still in the shower. <laughs> to be fair, there is a, a very high hygiene need that is being looked at. Just going to go over to the intelligence and informants and I'm noticing a legendary prisoner there. And potential CI. We've got a, we've got a couple of uh, legendary prisoners. Both of them though are protective custody of, of all things. Hmm. That's a Interesting one. Do I want to get rid? What's happened here? Murdered by prisoner. Is that Matt Stubbs? Uh, it is Matt Stubbs. And they're extremely deadly and extremely strong. Yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me after taking everyone out in uh, one hit. So I've just ordered some guard response. Hopefully to deal with that. How is the bakery shaping up? They are... They are installing it. It's just taking a bit of time. And obviously we haven't got any flooring in. 
Okay. We're getting into uh, so many alerts here. It's getting a bit chaotic. I don't know why the danger level is so high. Yes, there's that sleep need. Is it because it was really warm? It's possible. Unnecessarily searched. Serious complaints. Family need is being looked at. We do definitely have the visitor tables there. There is some critical needs for sleep and other things. Clothing is all fine. High levels of contraband. There's always high levels of contraband. <laughs> and that safety need is obviously going up. That's the one that can really scuppy your chances, as the saying goes. Don't know why it is, but yes, it can, because it, it fluctuates very, it fluctuates a lot. This danger level is really high. And then you get things like a riot, which then increases the safety need and then keeps this high. It, it's just, it's difficult to arrest any, any issues. Um... There's another snitch ex law enforcement. It's very easy to. F you, 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 otherwise, <laughs> you're gonna have to be either checking every hour of the every in-game day, or you just have to accept that sometimes this happens. Um, for this one, apparently, it happens quite a bit. Anyway, um, I'm gonna call in some paramedics and rye police because that's probably a bit beyond uh, reasonable. Oh, is that a tunnel? No, it's not. I mean, it's an alert for a tunnel, but I don't believe it's a legit tunnel. So we're going to bring in the Rye Police and such, and we've got a lot of deaths because of all these rioting. And, oh, they have actually went into the kitchen, and they're now taking knives and forks. Wow, I did not anticipate this sort of behaviour. And now all of the needs are, as expected, going to uh, going to be even worse because now they won't be able to look after their needs because they're going to all be in solitary. So just bring in the right police with their stun buttons. It's like they've charged around this side. Not, I'm not ordering them to do this, they're just cracking on themselves for the most part. And there we go. Well, if they have any complex... Hmm, yeah, if they have any complex needs, they're not going to look after it because, well, basically, they're going to spend most of the time in here. So all the family needs and everything else, that's, uh, that's not going to happen. Looks like this is pretty much built. Um, let's bring in some electrical, like so. And actually, I think I'll run it long, down, and then over to there. Water, large pipe, we'll need to go there. Hmm. I think I'll just run it across. Okay, I can hear the, because the danger level's so high. You hear that big clunk noise. Yeah. That's sleep need, hygiene need, family needs, safety. 202 prisoners are desperate about the need. And another riot. Okay. Bring the riot police back in. I'm keeping them on site, by the way, just to, just to make sure. Hmm. Why is there so many people that can't fulfill the sleep need? And then we get the hot spell again. Which is going to then increase the hygiene need. Oh, good grief. Luckily, our guys are trained up on how to deal with these locked open or locked shut jail doors. It appears that uh this is pretty much built. Okay. What we're going to have in here as well. Uh, we're going to have drinks fountains. Have some across there. 
And do we need some fans? Put one fan in there, one fan in the bottom. We can get rid of the planning. We don't need that. And we just need to put the floor, uh, yeah, the flooring in, and well, as well as the water. I mean, I don't, I don't really need to put in the uh, the hot water pipe, do I? <laughs> At this stage, I think we've got enough hot water. But it's always best to, yeah, to add this stuff in. And there we go. So that's fine. Let's see if we can actually assign people to it. So it's going to be prison labour, and oh, Max Jobs is forty-four. So I'm going to assign people to that. There we go. That's all done. Ooh, overdosed. Scott Bennett. So there's some free stuff. And, oh, this is still... Apparently there's a riot going on here. I think, again, it's because of the heat. Bringing in the riot, guys. There we go. Turn control that again. It said there there was people looking after that sleep need and the hygiene. But danger level is still very high. We've got all of these prisoners who can't look after any of them needs. We do have some potential CIs, which we will immediately recruit. That helps us out in terms of information, but also gets them away and... How many are waiting? 44 in lockdown, 15 in solitary, 5 are waiting. I've just had, I think, 5 there. Vulnerable was only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inmates now. Class is vulnerable. And it looks like the danger level is going down. And that's, I think, a lot of people, yeah, looking after that sleep need. But then... There's still 30-odd people critical which is going to be the people in here isn't it realistically yeah let's just recruit any informants we can around here there's also a tunnel which is all kinds of legitimate so it could be from here or here mm, i think the best way is just to put a toilet in there and we'll find out in but a moment that's not dormitories either, so I'm not really concerned about the the chances of that getting to the edge. And why is that not reached there? Is that another escape? Yep, they've literally climbed over the perimeter wall. The number of escapes seems to have improved. Well, the, the number of escape attempts seem to have been reduced. And what's happened here? Um, I think it is down to that perimeter wall. I think so. I'm going to get rid of the paramedics, but still keep the, the guys on site. Um, yeah, that water, it's not reaching there, and it, it really should. <laughs> it is hot. It is a water boiler that is being fed by this. So I'm not really too sure what's going on there. Anyway, um, pipe insulation. This is something that I sort of... A bit of... Sort of forgot about, basically. Oversight, as it were. So we'll put it in, now that I've remembered, even though we don't need it until the winter. Insulation hot, similar thing, like that. And I'll remove that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at this, look, <laughs> all the alerts. Uh, it's, it's, it's noisy, let's, let's call it noisy. Um, dismantle. Okay. <laughs> These are just people that are, like, being rejected for visitation or what, whatever. Um, people coming over here for food for in the bakery and then leaving. Which is curious. Uh, flooring-wise, then, as I said, I wanted something blue, but carpet? Not really. Salako? No cargo floor? None of that really matches up. So... What else could we have? Could I have maybe marble in here? And then in the kitchen, we'll just go with standard white tiles. Let's do that. At least it's going to be a different colour. 
At least the clothing needs satisfied. <laughs> so we have got bakery production skills, 10%, uh, sorry, yeah, not even 10%. We've got 10% on the calm tree apprenticeship. Uh, 10,000 generic units of currency and sell 25 baked goods is what's remaining. Um, again, there's inmates here just kicking off for seemingly no reason and escapes. Have they just... Yep, just, they've just wandered out. <laughs> they've literally just wandered out through there. Um, and that's a... That is, I believe, a legitimate tunnel. And there as well. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to dismantle all three toilets. Because it comes along quite a way. I mean, it could also be over, over here. I'll remove the toilets and we'll see how we get on. There it is. Found it. No, we've not found it. We found one bit. This is the other one. It looks like it's, it was going to be joined up. Let's put that toilet back. That toilet back. And remove that tunnel. And there's going to be some more. Good. And that's... That's not right either. That is definitely being supplied by a... The right pipe. Hmm. I don't know. And there's the tunnel. That's actually impressive for one inmate, isn't it? That's very impressive. Right, remove tunnels. That's now done. Let's see if we can look after this. Look after these uh, needs here. There's some quite complex sleep needs. Like, why is it so critical? Is it because the prisoners are in here. Well, there's not many, actually. No. There's a hydration need. But it's it's only medium, and one, one or two of them's high. And there's water fountains there, so... There you go. And there's that family need as well. Which is in the the critical levels, as is the hygiene. But you think it wouldn't be that? Hmm. Adam Donnelly. Killed by a dog handler with a dog leash while trying to escape. You don't often see that. <laughs> How is this? going on. Oh, that actually looks quite nice. I like that. Alright, so, a uh, couple of final things. Let's go for cloning. Quick build cloning. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. There's another escape. It's this corner again, isn't it? Do, have they just come through here? I don't know. That person was trying to escape. Well, actually, attack staff, serious injury, murder. But I think they were healed up. And why is that person in there? They're not allowed to be in there. <laughs> is that set to staff only? It is. Just going to double check some other things that should be probably staff only. That's correct. This is correct. Those are okay. Oh, yeah, actually, it's fine then. Hmm. So it's curious why the danger level is so high. That like said, that's it's that safety thing. That when it goes high, it just it, it's an inevitable spiral that uh, you often get. So lots of people are coming in here to to buy cakes and other goodies. Max jobs forty four. Qualified prisoners one hundred and twelve. Hmm. We're going to have a lot of zero star reviews, aren't we, on that one, I believe. And another riot in the chapel this time. I'm going to bring some people in. And it's going to be somewhere else. Oh, the workshop. Well, that's even, that's more dangerous. Oh, the foreman. 
I mean, this, <laughs> for what was a fairly sedate previous episode, it's gone all kinds of bad in this one. That guy's got a drill. Uh, I'm going to have to hire a foreman. There we go. Okay. How are we doing down here for the building? Uh, they're cracking on with it. And you might notice there's this gap here. Uh, there is. My intention was to have a little strip of grass across there. And then we can have some... Some... Uh, where is it? Hedges. I was going to put some hedges across like that. A little side hedge. And there's another riot! Because of course... Right, there must be right somewhere else. Yes, in here. So, bring it into the diner. And there's more escapes to the, the very leaky front door. Do you want to bring another... No, that's fine. That's being looked after. Let's go over here. There's that done. And I think the... Yeah, there's technically some writing going on here. Okay, so. Oh, and in parole. I wonder why, if that's why they're not building it. I'll just bring them down. Cash flow's still good. And the danger level is sort of going down a bit, but it seems to be sort of stuck. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. We have got a bakery, and it doesn't work. There is a... What I can only think is a bug when it comes to that. That shouldn't do that. This is being supplied with electricity and the large pipe. That should go a lot further than that. Case in point, this one works. So I'm not too sure what's going on and why the danger level is where it is. And... There's the critical family needs. But we've got a massive visitation. We've got these video calling booths. We've got another visitation over here. Maybe I need more. Hmm. Either way, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Next episode, hopefully the bakery will be functioning. And the prison won't have burnt down. <laughs> As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. Take care. And generic partings.